All right. Uh, yes, I'm from SAS. And on the screen here, you can see our company's mission statement. And I hope over the next 10 minutes or so to help explain how this collaboration that we have with Mindsphere is tr truly creating um, empowerment for the set of an industrial IoT users out there to get after their IoT use cases with a new set of analytics, streaming analytics, that are now native features on Mindsphere. Before we get into the details there, I want to just give you a, a few more tidbits of information about SaaS so you can get comfortable with who we are. Um, although we're headquartered over in the US, we have a, a very global presence. Uh, in fact, our DOC region headquarters is not too far away over in Heidelberg, Germany. And as you see, we have a, a quite a number of offices uh, throughout Europe. I know most of the attendants here are, are folks from Europe, so that should help you feel more comfortable with us. Uh, and actually, one of the R&D centers that you see here, uh, Scotland, is the R&D center that worked most closely with the Siemens Mindsphere technology team in, in creating this capability that's now available here. I also wanted to talk just briefly about uh, another thing that makes SaaS a little bit unique, and it's how much we believe uh, and are committed to innovation. Um, this chart is showing on a relative basis percentage of revenue that is reinvested in, in R&D. And we believe very much in that, and SaaS reinvests over 25% on an annual basis of our revenue back into R&D, and it's all focused on creating you know, the world's best analytics. Uh, one area of analytics that's very close to our heart is artificial intelligence. And so I wanted to spend just a moment to talk about this recent survey that was, that was done. And you can use the QR code or the little web address in the lower left to go, go to the website and get a lot more detail about this. But really what this um, assessment was about was to try and understand, are the, are the companies who are able to combine artificial intelligence along with their IoT effort, are they able to extract more business value from it? And what this um, assessment told us is, is an emphatic yes. Those who are able to do this effectively are seeing a lot more value generated from their IoT efforts. Excuse me. I wanted to um, just help you understand kind of where we fit in the landscape. Um, there's a number of features that are geared more towards self-exploration um, of the data. And then there's a set of features that's more of a toolbox for the developer. And this is where our feature set lives. Um, it's called event or edge streaming analytics. And it really has three, three main pieces to it. You get an analytics engine that's packaged in a neat way that you can deploy out to edge devices. And then you get two interfaces. Each of these interfaces is geared towards a certain persona. The first persona is that person who is the creator of the analytic. And we'll sh we'll show you in the next couple of slides how that analytics creator gets access to a very vibrant and colorful palette of analytics to choose and select from and quickly create uh, an analytic workflow. The second persona is that which might live uh, close to your OT side, but might, might not actually be on, on the IT side of your business and is responsible for keeping the lights on, so to speak. They're the person to make sure that each one of those analytics on every one of those edge devices is out there. It's up and running uh, as it should be. So I want to talk a little bit more about this, this palette that I mentioned. First, um, it's about accessing data. And this analytics engine is very proficient at not just time series, but also getting after image or audio information, even text information. All of this can be done in streaming sense. Next level might be doing some pattern detection, data transformations, as well as some descriptive analytics, which are essentially statistical processing that you can apply in stream. Next, we have some supervised uh, types of learning uh, algorithms that can be applied and then unsupervised type. And then this last area is um, an area of analytics. Uh, we, we say online scoring here, but these would be machine learning uh, type algorithms that actually require some offline training. They use a much larger data set in order to create that uh, machine learning algorithm. And there's really two main avenues to access that. One is uh, another native feature set on Mindsphere called predictive learning. And the other might be that uh, the use of some offline tools from SAS, like SAS um, visual data mining and machine learning. So I want to talk a little bit more about a use case that, in a few phases, uses different elements from that palette. Um, in this particular use case, there's high fidelity, like 20 kilohertz data coming off a number of different assets. So at e each asset, we place an edge device, we deploy our analytics. The analytics creator used these 
few items, the time series, data transform, and descriptive analytics to create a forecast, some upper and lower control limits. And then this interesting piece of information, these control limit violations, are what we want to send up to the next layer. This layer is uh, on-prem. You can think about this layer as being uh, maybe an enhanced edge device because it's collecting information from a number of those edge devices. And we're looking for anomalies that have occurred in clusters across a large number of those edge devices. So there's assets that are out at the edge, a number of them. We're using a uh, unsupervised um, machine learning method called clustering DB scan to detect that. And we get this fleet-wide perspective. Um, and that is where we create an alert based on these things happening um, at a number of nodes across our network. And then at the cloud layer is where we get access. I mentioned a couple of different interfaces. The first one is called Edge Stream Creator, and that's where we sat down to orchestrate and select from this uh, wide palette of analytics features to, to create and then test our model. And then we have the Edge Stream Manager. And the Edge Stream Manager is the interface used to manage that analytic once it's there and it's been tested and approved to manage it over a broad range of devices or assets out at the edge. Finally, we're using um, the fleet manager to do visualization, to review data, and to manage all of those alerts that, that come up. Next, I wanted to just direct your attention here to a white paper that uh, SAS and Siemens co-wrote about this technology that we have now made available on the MindSphere platform. And we'd love for you to uh, visit the website, download that, and get some more information about the technical capabilities we have here, as well as some reference use cases that we discuss in the white paper. Finally, we would hope that you might uh, be inspired to stop by the booth. You go up the stairs, and just to the left, you'll find us. Um, and we'd love to discuss your IoT use cases with you and uh, how you can leverage this new capability on the MindSphere platform. So thank you very much. Siemens, ingenuity for life.